Ahoy there, welcome back to Timber and Stone. You join me in the middle of a tragedy. What is the tragedy? The tragedy is that Harry Douglas Brown just died. No, no, and where are you guys going? Come on, over there, over there. And you, get over there. So I foolishly, I don't know, whoop. Zoom, zoom out, tiny pirate, good job. Just finish him. Finish them. Come on, Grubesh. It's up to you. Avenge your fallen friend. Okay, so you have avenge your fallen friend. Very good. Unfortunately for us, uh, Grubesh was out being a... I don't know. A lumberjack or something? Ooh. We like that. That's coming one day. He was out being a lumberjack and he got, he got gang... Uh, ganged up on by three wolves and he almost, I think he took one of them out, almost took the other one out and then died. It's, it's very tragic. So we'll gather resources from him. Uh, that was a bit of a, that was a bit of a shame. Meanwhile, everything else, however, is actually going pretty good. Uh, we have this all being dug out. Over here, I've decided that this will be our quarry once I clear some of the space because what I want to do. Why is there no water? What are you doing, game? The water's... The water's gone, that's... Okay, that's just very strange. Uh, what I'm doing over here is clearing the ground so that I can kind of wall off this area and make this area our quarry. And the reason I'm doing that is because it's close to the front door. So for now, walling it off and digging it up and all that kind of stuff is easy. And I hope uh, that will provide us with the resources we need to keep growing. I've planted some trees in here, a few more still to come, which will make wood chopping a bit easier in future. And also, it, just after the last episode finished, while I let things kind of run a little bit, we ended up with a whole bunch of le uh, leaves, feathers. So all these chickens kind of shed, and uh, a bunch of feathers came in, and we uh, have turned a, a number of them into arrows, 46 odd arrows. So pretty soon I want to go through and get everyone using bows. I'm hoping that is a workable strategy. Meanwhile, I've left most people on farming and this chap here making tools for us by the looks of it. And Grubedge is having a having a bit of a nap, heal himself up. We've got a bunch of uh, food here, so I'm hoping we'll see some someone turn up this episode maybe. I'll struggle to dig up my list of names for who's due to be named, but we will we will do that when the time comes. So it's been it's been a week since I've been able to record anything here because uh, Wellington in spring I live in Wellington, New Zealand. Wellington in spring is extremely windy. Uh, the other day it was let me think it was gusting 130 kilometers an hour, which is like a hundred. It's probably I don't know, probably maybe 80, 90 miles an hour. It it was just crazy. And it's been doing that kind of wind for just days at a time. Uh, six days, seven days to be precise. And if I record in that weather, you all get to hear a howling in the background. And I'm a little bit of a, bit of a perfectionist when it comes to my audio. And it just drives me bananas. So I have used that time to play Fallout 4 quite a bit. Which was a pleasant change. It's not something I probably planned to bring to the channel. But it was enjoyable to, uh, to do. Uh, meanwhile, I sort of sat around feeling frustrated about the lack of progress in this game and in the others that are in the channel. I mean, I do want to get on with these series, but I don't want to do it if the, if the recording is going to be poor. So I've also been thinking about what to do about our design. And what I kind of plan to do is to run a path down through here and to sort of bridge this, this area here and put in some more main front door type situations, I think. Uh, I don't think I'll get to that this episode, but I, I do kind of plan to do that. I have realized now, is that door really... I should really have a door there. That would be a bit better, so maybe it's time to just just to do that. Um, it's not going to be under walls. Where is it? This is the part where I can't find things again, isn't it? Design... Uh, objects, doors... Can I go for the slightly better door yet? Ah, uh, no. Not a, not a, not a hope. Not a hope. It's just going to have to be a standard 
timber door. Which way does it open? I always feel like it should be the... Come on. Oh, that'll probably do the trick. Okay, is it going to do it? Yeah, they'll, they'll get on and do that in due course. Then I'll take down that other door. That door seems a bit wrong there. That's fine. Just me being picky. What have they noticed? A wolf. Where is it? And Grubej has spotted it. Well, I know Grubej is our hard man, so I'm sure he'll be able to deal with it. Domesticate that chicken, someone. Come on, Grubej. Get stuck in. Whoop. Oh, gosh. Come on. Finish it. Finish it, Grubej. Oh, yes. Another one to be gathered. We got all of them lined up. And now you have to go back home, don't you? Yeah. That's all of them. And there was a... Oh, just a pig there. That's fine. So, I don't think we've got anyone on construction right now. We were a little low on stone, but we're not anymore. So I think it's time to finish off the construction. So who do we have here? Foraging. I think we'll get Verrick back out foraging again. He's also our best builder, which is a little counterintuitive. And Grubej, how much wood have we got? Not nowhere near enough. So you're going to have to stay out. Um... Bit short on anyone else. Miner, I have one of you build. Speed things up a little. That lack of water is really bothering me. Oh, a new migrant. Awesome. Why have we zoomed in? That sounds like a fantastic idea. Let's have a look at this chap. Who is coming here? They bring food, hammer, raw wood. They are cowardly. They are a pretty good engineer, wood chopper. That would be good. Stonemason. Lady, I should say. They sound excellent. Let me dig up my name list and figure out what on earth we're going to call this person. Okay, so the first migrant is going to be Jolly Wash. Jolly Wash. Reborn in timber and stone as a lumberjacking, lumberjacking lady. Yeah, that sounds pretty good to me. Leave your lumberjacking and you can get on with building, Grubish. Once you wake up, if you haven't already. Now, how is the construction going? Do we actually have walls designated? We do. They are. We do have stuff designated here. So, what is that needing? It's going to be a carpenter, isn't it? Let's get that carpenter actually down. Hmm. No decent carpenters. Well, Jolly Wash can carpent for us. Meanwhile, you can see how things are designated to uh, be laid out and built here. Yay! Celia Ward is accepted into Pirate's Cove. Ah, We are a very welcoming society. Sort of an egalitarian society. We don't believe in the market. No one here has money except for the uh, divine ruler. That's me. Good. The wall is going up. What on earth did I... I feel like I built that out of ore or something. Strange. No, that can't be ore. What is that? I have no idea. Never mind. We'll just let them build it. Could just be sand. I'm hoping it's just sand. Doesn't sound like it'll protect from much, but as long as it's two up on all sides, it should be just fine. DJ, keep it up. All right, so we should see all of this stuff done. I'm thinking right now I should get on and start plotting out the front entrance here. I want to make it Basically a little bit of a bridge, gates at each end, and some kind of overlooking, maybe platform archery tower type situation. But we're not, I'm not too sure how that's going to work out just yet. I was tempted to graph paper it out, and then I thought, nah, just do it live. I'll graph paper out things when they're a bit more complex, because, hey, I just, I just love graph paper. I mean, who doesn't? We need someone to do a bit of herding. And DJ, I'm going to take you off what you're doing. I'm just, I'm being a bit crazy here. They're, they're hopping jobs all the time. Um, oh, wow, that's very low on food. Yeah. Oh, poor chickens. You filling it up for us, DJ? Yes, you are. And how many feathers do we have? 37. That's not too bad. What are you doing? We're just wandering around there. I don't know what he, I have no idea what he's doing. So, are we okay for 
arrows. Look, 74 arrows. Someone's making them. So what I have set is arrows, stone arrows. I think I have like a minimum. I'm going to put that all the way up to 150. I'll make it 200. I mean, 200 sounds like a good number. And we need a level 1 carpenter for that. That's fine. I think we already set someone to do it. I really like this track of music. It reminds me of some... There we go. That's double doored. I should don't mind that. I mean, maybe it makes it a little bit harder to get in. Yeah, we'll just leave that for now. I like that, I like that music. That's such great music. It reminds me a little bit of um, American Civil War kind of era folk stuff. I feel like I'm watching the uh, Ken Burns Civil War documentary and a slow droning voice is telling me about the trials from some private from Tennessee and his, you know, trench foot or something. Jolly Wash, you've got nothing to do, haven't you? What are we going to set you to do now, Mr. Jolly Wash? You can carpent. I know we don't have materials to make the do the tree thing. Oh, you need to have your settings setted, don't you? Chop nearest trees. Wait in hall while idle. Um, yeah, that's fine. Group age is a level four builder. That's amazing. Do we have enough food coming in? I think, I think we do. I think that's enough for the three farmers to work on, don't you? Happy to hear other opinions on that. Feeding trough is fine. I wonder if they would have stopped producing while the uh, misc, <laughs> no, I need a misc container. We don't know what this is. It's just misc. All this stuff. We just have these. Uh... Oh, come on. Um, where are we? Uh, objects, storage, miscellaneous, a miscellaneous resource crate. Stick it on our resource crate pile. Um. Maybe we'll start a misc pile down here. One day we'll figure out what misc is, but for now, it's this. That should sort it out just nicely. Okay, go. A wolf? Now, why are you... Why are you walking towards the deadly wolf? You've got a herding croc. Um, maybe you should stop doing that. Where? What are you doing? Where are you going? You're attacking a wolf, are you? Well, I mean, fair enough, you know, if you feel up for it. This is where I really think I should... Oh, 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 we got him in the end, but... Wow, you're going to need to go have a nap, aren't you? Oh, you definitely are. Pretty soon I want to think about... Leather, I suppose? I guess we can figure that out. Um... Now you're a herder who's going for a nap. The, oh, the walls are basically done here. That's awesome. I love that berm. I love the I love the berm. I wonder if I could fill it with water. Probably could. I mean, it would be a little bit pointless in a way. I mean, it would kind of lower the defensive value of it. But people could swim across it. But this is already like three high now. So maybe that'd be cool. I'm not going to experiment with that because I can't see the blooming water. Um... What are we doing here for digging? I think we're okay for digging for now. So I think it could well be time to kind of experiment here. And to do that, I'm going to need to figure out where the middle of, of this part is, which is going to take me a second. So let me uh, figure that out and then come back to you. Okay, so we're back and Virik has spotted a goblin. And Whoop! What? No. Thought I, DJ, I'd really rather you didn't do that. Just get out of here. You go that way. Maybe turn you into a archer, Virik, just for a second. Archer. Okay. Now, just you are. I can hear that twang and whistle. And I think whoever is currently the herder can go and do something else, like sort out our mining a little bit more. Yeah, go do that. Uh, what? Okay, just okay. I'll just leave you guys to it then. Fine. Whatever. I know you don't listen to me. So, never mind. Just get on with your jobs. 
Uh, DJ, you're going to go have a rest now, aren't you? Virik, what are you, you like? You're fine. You should go and do your do your job. So I have set up um, what is going to be the front of the fortress. Sort of here. They just need to go and do it. Um, wow. Whoa. Okay, I've, I've laid, laid a, yet another different type of stone on top of the first. I'm not... I'm not too pleased about that, to be honest. I don't like, don't like all these stone varieties, but that that's that's fine. That'll do. Kind of wanted you to do the other job first, so that was my own fault, wasn't it? Um, can I just, yeah, uh, let's cancel that building. Can I? Does anyone want to... Oh, construction, walls. Yeah, now just... Yeah, okay, field stone. Now let me cancel. All right, just leave it alone for now. Get on with all the other jobs. No. Okay. All right, okay, good. What was it I was building? Maybe off camera sometime I'll, I'll just go and fix everything. Make all the walls the same. I took out a couple of trees and they've decided to leave holes in the ground. Um, grass. One there. And one there. Okay, that's fine. Good. Good. So as you can see, we're going to sort of tear out a bit of the wall here. Make a little over bridgey thing. And then we're going to figure out a entrance of some kind here once they have those elements done i will probably yeah i'll probably build a overlooking spot so that archers can be stationed there over here this is going along quite nicely yeah i'm going to clear it out so that this is going to be a safe digging area and as we need to we can just sort of expand it sideways should be plenty of stone and ore in here for now. And I'll build a, a, a sort of a walkway across the top here. Maybe we'll just do it about here, eh? You're swimming, you're swimming through water that I can't see. So it looks like we have actually got water in our moat now, even though we can't see it. It's going to be a real treat then in the next episode, isn't it? When we, we sort of finally make that all work nicely. Oh God, why is it failing? I don't know. Um... Construction, terrain, now let's go for walls, um, field stone, yeah, why not, uh, we will make it one, two, three, no, let's, let's, no, that's fine, I think field stone, one, two, three, like that, and then we can put a, is it figuring out the slope for us, doesn't, mm. Doesn't want to do that. Uh, what else have we got here? Great stone. And now, come on. It doesn't want me to. Don't know why. That's going to drive me batty. Why is it doing it? Okay, so it's okay with us making slopes that are grass. Just not ones that are stone. I, I don't really understand why. I kind of, I don't mind having a grassy slope across to our, our our area but I mean it, it seems a little weird never mind we will just have to live with that they, they can do that we'll get that underway while they're doing this part good you're still clearing that out good minions food is climbing to 500 I reckon we'll see another settler soon enough um, and this part has been done so I think we can put in some grass here too and then a bit of sloped grass. No, oh, I went all... Come on. One more. Yeah. Okay, and... I mean, maybe we'll make it a grassy slope there too. And then that was my flooring. And that was uh, construction, flooring... It was paved uh, flat stone. No, cobblestone grey. Why not? Um, can we just do it? No. 
What? Not that much. No. Oh, okay, that'll do. Now that should see it poke out a little. And yeah, good job, you. Keep it up. And then we'll we'll have it sort of slope down into um, some kind of uh, grassy square area. So let me have a little think. Don't want it right there. I want it to be. I want it to be maybe four by four. Why not? Um, one in four by four. You'll see why I want it like that soon enough. Don't you worry. Construction flooring. Uh, what was it again? Paste stone. Was it paste stone? Who knows at this point? Who knows indeed? Um, I think from there we will want it to be. Uh, where are we? Construction, terrain, grass, and would that be the right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that'll work. No. Yes. That one. One, two, three. And yeah. Okay. And around here we will put like this, like this. Uh, and we'll get the corners right another time. Just get this part right for starters. And on this side. Okay. And then, yeah, then we'll see how it goes. And we can put a door in here just because, I mean, why not? Our construction, objects, doors, timber door. And, and now I'm going to try and remember. There we go. Okay. <laughs> of course it doesn't do it. There we go. Plop. We'll fix up the slope. Looks a little steep. What are you? What's your problem, Kemp? Hanging around? Farming. Why not? Oh, you need a farmer. Oh, okay, Kemp, you can... What about doing some stone masoning? Masoning. Yeah? Good job. Oh, we're out of fuel there. Fill it up. Like a healthy campfire. Let's get rid of that message. You're out chopping trees? Good. Good lady. What are we short on storage? Weapons. Oh, I guess we're filling up with arrows. I guess. Wow, 200 arrows already? Where are you, people? Awesome. That is great. We will need some new objects, storage, weapons. A weapon rack. Um, rack stack and rack them right close to each other. If the game will let me. Good. How's that looking? Not too shabby. Construction still waiting. Feel like I could mine the top of this one, two, three here. Does that line up? Ah, sure it does. And then we could do our flooring as well, our paved stone. One, two, three. And we could, um, what are we doing here? Dig mine. One, two, three. And yeah, that'll be good. That'll be fine. It'll be a nice little kind of secure entrance into what will be a secure area as soon as they finish doing their jobs, which it looks like it's going to take them a while. Never mind. Are we happy little minions? What? What's your bag? Altiera, you're done carpenting, aren't you? You don't have... Oh, you don't have the braced door materials. Well, hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm, that's a bit of a bit of a problem. Um, what else did I set you to do? Go and make some... Oh, no, here we go. There's going to be some wood coming back with this uh, lovely young... Young chap here, Jolly Wash, I'm sure of it. Look at all that wood. Plenty. 
Go and make your stuff. You? Where's your bag? Kemp. Stonemason. Back to making food for us. Perennial fooderer. 563. Look, you can... It's all there. What do you mean you don't have the materials to make a... Is it because it's a... Oh, it's tim... Oh, you need timber. Um... Um, um, um... Okay, okay. We need to what, process some timber. Okay. Let's maintain t 20 in storage. That'll do the trick. Okay, how are we doing? And feathers. Oh, we're just... Oh, I love... Look at these chickens. So many chickens. That's amazing. Deconstruct that. It's in the way. What was it saying? High enough. Uh, yes. Good. That means we can just deconstruct it. And what are you guys up to? Making your slope. Did this fill with water? It, it filled with water. That's, that's just great. Um, how, how did that happen? Can I get rid of the water? I don't, I don't think I can, you know. I don't, I actually don't, oh, that's so annoying. Now, Virik, are you going to redeem us? How many arrows have you got? Ooh, that's quite good. That should be plenty. Oh, let's turn you into an archer. I think we're going to end up with the world's fanciest pond. Come on. Just hit him. That's not good. All right, run away, Vir. Run away. Oh God, where are we going? I have no idea where to go. Ah, that's the edge of the map. Um. Okay, so I paused it. Virik, what can I set you to go and do instead? Uh, go be a builder. Yeah. And <laughs> let's hope you don't die. I don't want to lose it. No. Oh my God, Virik, you crazy crazy mother whatever it is oh, wow that was a little close you need a big nap and i think we're going to keep you inside until we can get you some armor or something it's ridiculous Verek, you're a crazy wee man now what am i going to do about this water that is driving me bananas i've got a i've got a ramp into a into a diving pool that's just nuts what can i do about it fill it all fill it all in yeah, I'm pretty sure the answer is I have to fill it all in once I've put that block in. Fill it all in with dirt and it'll destroy the water. And then I can start over with my beautiful mining uh, hole. That that kind of sucks. And I've used a different stone again. Because I built it at night time. Oh my god, that's so useless of you, tiny pirate. Never mind. I think I'll tackle these problems in the next episode. You can get the idea. So what's going to happen over here? A little spoiler. I'm going to build a couple of towers. They're going to overlook this sort of secure... Um, a ramp entrance way into our fortress, which I think I'll widen. That's a little steep. It's an uncomfortable walk, doesn't it? And those walkways will be connected by, I don't know, what do you call it? Sort of, no, these towers will be connected by walkways and um, our little people will be able to run along there and, and do stuff, which will be awesome. Here comes a blimmin' wolf to harass us yet again. No more. The end. Good night.